Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And this issue is such an important issue, I decided to stop right here as I'm writing this answer to be able to answer the question, to be able to help people who struggle with this issue of losing access to their Google accounts. But before I share much more, hit that subscribe button because I have a whole lot of content coming out on how to use Google Workspace and Gmail as business tools and it's all designed to help you. How can I get back into my Google account? I no longer have access to the phone number or the backup email address. This is not unusual. Lots of people struggle with this. Furthermore, if a hacker hacked my account and changed the phone number and recovery email address, how do I get back into that? Furthermore, how can I sign back into my Gmail account if I forgot my password? How do I access my old Gmail account so I don't remember the email addresses? All of these are the same kinds of challenges that lots of people face. And for this reason, I encourage everyone to make sure that you manage your backup phone number. Don't lose that phone number. Change the phone, but keep the phone number. I really encourage people to create a backup email address to an email address they will never lose. They'll keep forever so that they don't have to worry about losing the backup email address. Additionally, I strongly encourage everyone to use two-step verification on their Google accounts and every other online account so that hackers have a bigger challenge hijacking your account. I don't want to say completely eliminate it, but a much bigger challenge for hijacking. Now, there are some tips. Google gives some really good tips. I found this article online right here that I really liked. Answer as many questions as possible from this account recovery page. And I'll share this in the YouTube video description. Use a familiar device. Don't try to do this from your brother-in-law's computer. Try to do it from your cell phone that you use that account on, or your iPad, or your tablet, or your laptop that you use that account on. Be as, as exact as you can with the passwords and when answering the security questions. Really be careful about you know, trying to avoid typos and pay attention to uppercase and lowercase letters. If you're asked what your last password was, try to remember the most recent one you can and put that in there. And you don't, you don't need to remember the last one, but can you remember the one before? And if you can't confidently recall any passwords, take your best guess. Answer all the security questions if it asks you security questions. Enter an email account that's associated with the account you're trying to get into. Be very helpful with the details. You're traveling. To, you know, when, when asked to tell, you know, respond to a question, respond to it in as much detail as you can. Specific error messages. You know, if you think your account's been compromised or hijacked, use those words. If your description matches the information that they have, if the information you give matches the information they have, you are more likely to get your account recovered. So really it's important when you're using Google Workspace or Gmail to be, again, two-step verification, backup phone number you're not going to lose, backup email address you're not going to lose, save your backup codes for your two-step verification and you're really less likely to run into this problem, which millions of people run into because they set up a Google account, a Gmail account, and they start flipping out emails and they don't think about the security. And I hate it for people. So anyway, I just wanted to stop and I want to share this. I'll get the link to the tips. I'll put that in the article with the video. And I really hope that you can stop and find time to protect yourself so that you don't run into this ever again. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.